<clears throat> Hello everyone. So, if you're reading the title of this video, I'm back with a CX roulette. It's been quite a while. Um, plucked up the courage to buy some stuff off the website. Um, and if you're reading the title, it's all from one series of games, anime. So, I've been playing this game on my Xbox One, One Piece World Seeker. Uh, the reviews weren't great of it. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, nearly completed it. And I thought, what other One Piece games could you get? Turns out pretty much every system has a One Piece game. Um, so we've got a selection here. Now one of them couldn't be sourced, so I got a refund for that. But I'll explain that later because there's a twist in that story, um, which is which goes in my favour. So, cheers, CX, for that. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, seven here. One of them is not a One Piece game, um, but it's packaged in a double one like that. So. Uh, this one's really light. I'll probably start with that. Um, so yeah, um, I always thought they were like fighting games, but the the not really. Uh, well, they are fighting games, but not like Street Fighter or like Tekken. Um, they, there is a few of them, but there there's quite a lot of like adventure type ones. Um, there's some on PS3, I believe, and the new ones are on PS4 and Xbox One, which is the Pirate Warrior series. Which is a bit like um, Dynasty and Warriors, so that'd be interesting. So, without further ado, I took all the address. I took my address off all these amateur mistake last time. So here we go. This one's I, this one cannot be complete. So here we go. Oh, the tab broke. Oh, yep. It's a 3DS game. It is. One Piece Ultimate Cruise, and it's got a big giant 12 thing on. And there's no book, so that's going back. Although I will check to see if it comes with a book, because some of these don't actually come with a book. So, I mean, overall it's in not bad condition, but that was. Check the thingy. 15 quid for that, so kind of, wait a minute, sure I paid less than that, not sure, <laughs> I'm sure that was £10 when I ordered it, but anyway, One Piece Ultimate, I believe this is a port of the Wii version, so yeah, no manual, so that'll probably go back. Next up is this double pack one. Oh, these tabs break every time. And again, there we go. We're in two PS3 games. Oh. So we've got One Piece Warrior 3, which is in foreign. So that's going back. So a good start there. And we've got One Piece Warrior 2, which is in foreign. So that's going back as well. This is this is turning into a great video. And they've put the disc for the third one in the second one. And the disc for the the second one in the third one. Well done. So I'm not even sure what language these are. <laughs> so I, I spoke to someone in six and they said they don't take stuff with foreign sleeves on I don't know I mean it'll play in English but so they're going back so they're all going back so far <laughs> next one here we go come on give me some luck give me something this is a Wii game this is one piece Ultimate Cruise 2. Jesus. This has been cleaned. I mean, it's not awful condition, but the, the manual has been 
flicked through really badly and the case is so dirty. <laughs> yeah. It, it'll probably clean up all right. But uh, yeah, not the best condition that one. I believe that was 10 pounds that one. So that's probably a keep off for now. Just, just scrapes through. I mean, it's really is not the best condition. It is really yellow, um, but yeah. Come on, give me one in decent, fairly decent condition. Jesus. Next one is another Wii game. Okay, here we go. This is the first one. One Piece, Ultimate Cruise, The Treasure Beneath the Waves. This one is in really nice condition. <laughs> Discs are good. So there we go, that's the first one. We've got one in good condition. Oh ha! It's, uh, yeah. Okay. It looks like someone's tried to pull a sticker off and rip the case, but yeah, there we go. We've got, we've got one. This one was £18. I think that was the most expensive one. So, yeah, we've got one. So, probably keep both of them. The second one is really is not that good condition, but... Okay, the last one. This must have the bonus one in. Sorry, I'm not getting my hopes up for this. <laughs> Open. So, the first... The last One Piece game I bought, which is loose in the case, but... It's actually in good condition, so it is the first Pirate Warrior game, and it's in English. Huzzah! So these are supposed to be really good games. So at least the first one was in good condition, so I can actually play that. Um, yeah. So interested to play that. So the last two games I got were the ones in good condition. Um, that one there, and the bonus game was surprisingly complete uh under defeat hd for the xbox 360 and surprisingly it has it's all there and it has the bonus disc so that's a nice little bonus one there um, that was five pounds but obviously it's 150 postage, even though it came packaged with that other one. So I feel like they should refund me 150. Um, but then again, they're both in good condition. So, you know, keep the 150, I guess. <laughs> yeah. For a, for a shmup, this game is like not worth anything. But uh, yeah, they only had one in stock as well. So I was kind of like, is that been passed around like 50 CXs because it's in really bad condition? But it's actually in really good condition, so that at least is that. At least is that. So I'll quickly mention I ordered the second one of these. Basically, it's that version, I believe, but on 3DS, and I paid twelve quid for it, so thirteen fifty with postage. Um, and then normally you get an email saying, "Oh, we couldn't source it." But I just got a refund and I didn't look at it at first. But then I went back on it, checked it, and it was for £15.50. And I was like, what? So I checked the game, it had gone up in price to £15, but that doesn't explain the 50p extra they gave me. Well, so they gave me £3.50 extra, but yeah. So I don't know what had gone on there. So kind of, yeah. So this one's going back because. It's a, uh, it's um, I don't even if yeah, it must play in English, even though it says manual quick start not in English. And yeah, I suppose there is there is English on the back, so yeah, giant German rating board logo which ruins everything. 
and these two, which are obviously been traded in by the same person, because they're obviously, I said, they're not English, so. <laughs> um, which is a shame, because to be honest, they are in okay condition. But not for me. Which is disappointing. It says GameStop on it there. But I don't know what countries have a GameStop. Don't know. These stickers are normally on um, Italian games. I don't know if it's just Italian or maybe it's maybe I've got that wrong. But so disappointment there, especially because, like I said, they are they are in good condition. They're just in the wrong language. So so they're going back. That's going back. I'm still undecided whether to take this one back or not. What's more annoying is the uh, is when you take them back, they refund the postage, but like separately. So I'll have like four four um, refunds and then four one fifty amounts, which is kind of like ah, for God's sake. Um, I wish they could just add them all up and refund them on one voucher, but you know, at least they give you the postage back. Well, last time I went in, they did. I'm not sure if they changed that or not. Then I, I'm, I might, I might keep it because it is, it is, yeah. The discs have been cleaned by a machine, and the manual is there. It's just, it's been real, really well thumbed. Maybe a new case. I don't know the cases. I mean, look at that big dollop of something on it. <laughs> don't know. So I'm gonna sit here and ponder what I'm actually gonna take back. Um, but these two are staying. So there's uh, well, these ones here are staying. So yeah, I suppose it was sort of worth it. <laughs> ah, get off me, sticky red thing. So, hope you enjoyed this real, how long is the video? Real short uh, CX roulette. Um, kind of didn't pay off, but, you know, a couple of bits. So, I will be taking them back next week. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.